first and foremost, we're going to say all praises be to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Ba'akadash, double honors unto the apostles and elders of the great millstone, and Shalom to the sincere elect teaching of truth and faith and sincerity through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. You know, now we, we just going to speak on um, what? Experience? Yeah, experience, how experience builds faith, man. You yeah. know, yeah. going through different experiences, whether it's different tribulations, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whatever lessons that you, you go through, because it's all lessons, yeah. uh, when the things that you go through in this, in this truth, mm -hmm. it's to build you up, it's to build up your faith, man, Yeah. for that, for that, for the, for the day of the Lord, man, you know? Yeah, and uh, wisdom, you know, one of the um, ways of uh, understanding what wisdom is, is, is experience, man, you know? Because, because if a person's got a, 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 a true form understanding of something is because they've grown grown over the, the years through, through, through experience man right the, the apostles you know have have grown grown in his faith and increased in his faith through the experiences that they have they, 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 they have, have went through and it's truth so that's why the apostles always say a guy might come in the word where well, might might know how to quote a thousand you know precepts and scriptures but that but that don't mean shit because he hasn't got experience man right i've got a precept for you what this is proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting get understanding that's right that's right and 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 you know in terms of this word right you know the um the um the the, the, the um lord in, 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 increases your understanding what over time through experiences, man. So that's it. that's why at times, like, you know, you, you, you actually might hear like a, a precept, and a brother might explain it to you, right? And and you might kind of understand the breakdown. You understand the breakdown, but you you don't you you, you can't really internalize it because you don't truly understand. Yeah. But but over time, you know, you might read different precepts here and there. You might be hearing, you know, you might be reasoning with men. Right, you might go through certain experiences, and then, like you know, you, you actually truly understand. For example, you know, you know when the scripture says, "A man's foes shall be there of their own household." Mm -hmm. You know, you know when brothers come in the word, yeah, man, your family, man, your family gonna come against you, yeah, yeah, whoa, whoa, shouting in the camera, people pointing, your family, all of this. Then one day your family does come against you, yeah, calls you a terrorist, tries to get you, you know, arrested, you know. Or, or tries to harm you, and then, then after that, you might bring out a precept and be like, "Look, man, it's it's very possible that your family is gonna come against you, but experience is experience and overcoming that adversity, because um, I believe it's a a, 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 a a statement that the apostle Gob Gobal made, another level, another level, man, you know. So experiences." You know, yeah, going through adversity is how we increase. You know, yeah, part of that growth, the growth pains. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I've got precepts. Go ahead. Uh, this is Romans chapter five from the top. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with the Most High through our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, mm -hmm. by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand. Yeah, and rejoice in because hope. Because the, the 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 actual the actual um, pathway, right, of coming in this word and, is, and enduring in this word is through Yahweh Shai himself, man. See, see, everyone, everyone likes to esteem themselves and glorify themselves, but it's through, through the Lord. Because, in fact, to prove that he is the pathway, this is uh, John 10 and uh, um, John 10 and 7. Then said, yeah, I will shine unto them again. Very, verily, I say unto you, I am, I, I, I am the door of the sheep. Right? If you skip to verse nine, it says, "I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and and shall go in and out and find pasture." Mm. So to obtain that 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 pasture, to obtain that pathway of salvation, you have to go through 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 that door, which is the William Lord. So so it's by him we have the access, man. Yeah. And it says, and rejoice in hope of the glory of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, mm -hmm. 
knowing that tribulation work of patience and patience experience mm -hmm. and experience hope mm -hmm. yeah because after enjoying you them and those experiences you're like wow I went through this this so on and so forth and the Lord was with me so that means in further other things I go through the Lord's gonna be with me too yeah you know and it said what it said experience hope now I'm gonna get this precept it says Hebrews 11 and 1 it says now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. When you're hoping for something, what are we hoping for? We're going through these different tribulations. We're hoping, it, first of all, it, it, it opens up your mind to the wickedness that's going on and the, the predicament that we're in, even more so. And it also it builds up your faith and your hope in the Lord coming and saving us out of here, man. Mm -hmm. You know? It, it makes you desire that stronger, man. It builds yeah. up your faith. Yeah. You know, I, I, I believe it was one of the apostles that, um, that said, um, you know, uh, when the brothers was telling us, the older brothers, if, you know, you pray for faith, that doesn't mean that you're going to wake up and now all of a sudden you got faith, you know. Mm -hmm. You're going to, the Lord is going to make you go through experiences so that faith builds up over time, man. You know, mm -hmm. you're going to go through a certain experience and then you're, wow, you know. Mm -hmm. And after that, that that's going to that's gonna increase your faith, man, yeah. that experience you had. Yeah, yeah, and I, I got a precept to prove that basically experience, experience is basically wisdom. Right, this is um, Ecclesiastes 1 and 16. I commune with my own heart, saying, Lo, I am come to great estate, and I've gotten more wisdom than all they that will have been before me in Jerusalem. Yea, my heart had great experience of wisdom and knowledge, and I gave my heart to know wisdom, to know madness and, and folly. Right? And, 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 and I perceived this also is vexed. Of, of, of spirit, right? And Solomon was 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 um the um, greatest uh, witch man because he actually went further into it, right? But that's why he said um my heart had great great experience of wisdom and knowledge because he gave his heart to to do different experiments. You know, he actually he he, he built gardens, architecture. He um he studied plants. He studied animals. Right, and and through those experiences, he he gained gained a wisdom, right? It's the same way us in this faith to to in order to grow grow in in wisdom, the Lord has to pull us through experiences. That's why I said he 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 had experiences of wisdom, because through whether it's a good experience or an experience that's bad, all experiences is is is, is, is precious. Because it's something that you have never been through before. Now, in this word, in this faith, m most of our experiences on this pathway is 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 adversity, but you overcome them adversities and grow more in faith, man. And and, and that's why um the the, 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 the 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 that's why Peter, you know, you know, out of all of the um twelve twelve apostles, went through great hell. Right, a prime example is is, is 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 when the Lord said to him, uh, Simon, Simon, or Peter, Peter, I pray for you, that that basically say no, take you out, and when you've been converted, strengthen your brethren, right? And no, 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 not too long after that, is 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 when he did deny the young Lord, yeah, three times, right? And that was but a great lesson for him as well. It's a great lesson for him, but he had to experience that. In order to understand the the, 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 the mercy of of the, of the Lord and that everything that he, he spoken is of his will. What preacher? Yeah. This is Proverbs sixteen and nine. A man's heart deviseth his way, but Yahweh Shmuel Shai directeth his steps. That's right. That's right. That's you right. Know? Go ahead, speak. So, hey, you know, just that example the brother was given about the apostle Peter. You know, he was he was saying to the Lord, I ain't gonna, I won't deny you, Lord. You know, he was trying to um, devise his, his, his way, but. The, what had to happen? Mm -hmm. He had to he had to fulfill the words and deny the Lord, so that he can get that great experience from that. And ultimately, what that that, that humbled him, man. Yeah, yeah. And the scriptures say, "What the greater thou art, the more thy humble thyself." Mm -hmm. And 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 the Lord made Peter the head of the church, man. That's right. That's right. That's you right. Know? And that's why, um, you know, this is a race of endurance. Can you give me that one in the pocket for a man that's well travelled and all of that? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. This is Ecclesiasticus thirty-four and nine. A man that have troubled knoweth many things, mm -hmm. 
and he that have much experience will declare wisdom. And and and, and uh, uh, the the um, the um, greatest examples of wisdom upon the earth are apostles, man. All right, see that apostles, you know, tell stories of being in different lands, you know, spending time. You know, apostles are always speaks about when he's been to different lands. You see, you see many things being through certain circumstances, you know, being. That's why Paul himself said, I, I, I both know how to be abandoned and to be abased. Because he had to experience, you know, uh, that, that, that's why, um, give me that uh, Romans, um, in, in, bond, in bondage and free, mm -hmm. uh, 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 shipwrecked, shipwrecked mm -hmm. and all of that, right? Because he over, uh, overcame them things, man. You know, and it's like, you know, essentially sp sp speaking, we're actually tr traveling you know in this truth because this, this 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 truth is a pilgrimage right right you know the the uh apotheca uh, uh, apocrypha second like edgerton sp speaks about what right how how basically a man you know uh, uh sees a a city and and basically that that path is you know straight you've got fire on one side and then deep water man on the other side and guess what he has to walk, travel through, to eventually get 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 to that city that's built up, which is that kingdom, man, right? But but guess what? On on that pathway, right, which is full of obstacles. That's why it's called a like a, a straight way, right? You in, 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 encounter you know certain uh, experiences, man, you know, on, on uh, that pathway on that, that journey, and 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 that's a you know. That that's all of the adversities that you have to experience, man, and 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 overcome to keep keep going, yeah. in order to reach that, that that kingdom. So that's like us. These these experiences that we experience help us grow in the faith, grow in wisdom, all to to the end, or which is which is attaining that that that, that seed. Yeah. It says in Isaiah, I think thirty three says, um, "Knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of our times, mm -hmm. and the times that we're going into." It's times of great tribulation, man. Jacob's trouble, mm -hmm. you know. So the Lord is building up His men in faith, in you know, in in, in knowledge mm -hmm. to be able to withstand those times, man. Yeah. You know, the Lord's directing our steps towards that to that point, mm -hmm. and, and you know, and that's all the elect, man. You know, the Lord with them would be of that number, man. Yeah. You know, I got that. What you cool for? Go ahead. This is Second Corinthians chapter eleven, and I start from twenty-three. Are they ministers of Mashiach? I speak as a fool. I am more. In labours more abundant. Mm. In stripes above measure. It's like, bro, I've been doing the work. Mm. Yeah? I've laboured. I've been, I've been chastised. Go ahead. In prisons more frequent. In deaths oft. A bit low. Like, like how apostles, you know, tell us about what happened to them in 9-11. You know? Mm -hmm. Paul's like, look, prisons, bro, I've been there. Yeah. Like, you know, when you come in the void, you be like, yeah, bro. Oh, man. Brother, my mom. And brother's like, bro, I've been where you've been, bro. You know? I've yeah. been there. I'll just chill. Go ahead. He says, of the Jews, five times received our 40 stripes, save one. Yeah, man, that's, you know, 39 times five, man. It says, thrice was I beaten with rods. Once was I stoned. He was stoned and died, actually. Yeah. Paul actually died. He said, so, deaths so, oft. Yeah. Deaths oft. Go ahead. It says, thrice... I suffered shipwreck. Yep. A night and a day have I been in the deep. Yeah. Shit. Damn. <laughs> in journeyings often. Yeah, I've traveled. Yeah, I've traveled. Yeah, you know, yeah. That's why. That's why. You know. Hey, man. It, it's good to travel. Huh? Yeah. And in those days as well, yeah. you know, men travel by ship and all that. Yeah. You know the harsh seas and all that, in the elements. Yeah. It says in perils of waters. In perils of robbers. Yeah, 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 yeah. In perils by my own countrymen. Yeah, by the news. In perils by the heathen. Yeah. In perils in the city. Yeah. In perils in the wilderness. So he was both in the city, he was in the city centres and all that, and he was also out in the, in the wilderness, man, in the sides, man, countrysides and all that. Yeah. It says, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren. Yeah. In weariness and painfulness. Being through it, they all... Go ahead. In watchings often. Yep. In hunger and thirst. 
in fastings often, in cold and nakedness. That's right. Do you hold that again? Romans 8 and like towards the end. Romans 8, yeah. Yeah, like Romans 8 and 35 maybe. Because he, he, he's saying all of that, yeah. No, 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 no. That's why I said precept must be on point precept because now we're like hearing everything you have to experience, right? Let's now see. Um, now see. Oh, yeah. What's up? It says uh, Romans 8 and 35. Who shall separate us? Us. That's what you want to. Right? Yeah, yeah. Who shall separate us, us from the love of Yahweh and Mashiach? Shall tribulation or distress? Or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Yep. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, yeah. nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. Yep nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in um, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, our Lord. So when Paul made that statement, like, Look, I'm persuaded that neither this, nor that, nor this, nor that can stop you from the, 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 the Lord's love. He meant it. Yeah. He meant it. Because of everything he went through. He's been through that, yeah. Overcame. Which is an example of the experience that he gained through the experiences that he went through. Yeah. So essentially, you know, us in this word, you know, the things we go through every day, we're in a pathway of, you know, overcoming every day, man. You know? Okay, right, let's go a quick preset, huh? yeah. This is Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith. Yeah. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Yeah. Not of works, as any man should boast. Yeah. So you could be doing the utmost, but the Lord is going to really be putting you through experiences and... Also, bringing you through the ex bringing you through those experiences, the law doesn't give you more than you can handle, man. Yeah, you know, it gives to every man his measurement of what he can handle, and he and it gives you the, and the the fruit of going through the adversary. Adver adversary is what adversity. Yeah. Adversity, so like, yeah, is is the faith, man. Yeah, is the faith. That's the that's the that's the fruit of it, man. Yeah, and that faith is is the substance that's gonna keep you going, man. Oh. In that in that in that time, man. You know, in Jacob's trouble, man. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What well, in this or no, I just, can no, just go and get, get a piece of you got. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's really on the point to be honest. Um, yeah, I just had Hebrews. Yeah, read, 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 read it, this yeah. is um Hebrews chapter eleven verse one. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Yeah. For by it the elders obtained a good report. You know what, yeah? Go to the go to that they were slain, they were son they were slain, Okay, yeah, yeah. Near the end. Because it's like you now that the 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 the, the for them great ancient men to do what they did and experience what they experienced and overcome, right? It took faith, but the faith had to get get it had to get you know get built up. It says this is I uh, 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 yeah get it because he has to, uh, it's Sirach, uh two and then you know I say for precepts. This is um Sirach chapter eleven verse thirty two. Sorry, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 32. Yeah. And what shall I more say? For the time shall fail me to tell of Gideon, and of Barak, and of Samson, and of Jephthah, of David also, and Samuel, and of the prophets, yeah. who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, yeah. obtained promises, stopped the mouth of lions, yeah. quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, Fine. out of weakness were made strong, mm -hmm. waxed valiant in fight, Turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Mm -hmm. Women received their dead raised to life again, and others were tortured, mm -hmm. not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection. Yeah, that's what happened in that time of, of, of the, the seven brothers, man, in Maccabees. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And others had trial of cruel mockings yeah. and scourgings. Yeah. Yea, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. Yeah. Right. They were stoned. Yep. They were sawn asunder. Sawn asunder. So you had people of the elect who got sawn. Mm. Right. Were tempted. Were slain with the sword. Uh -huh. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented. Yeah, yeah. Of whom the world was not worthy. 
they wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. Yeah, yeah. And these all, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise. Yep. Yahweh, well, Hashem Yahweh Shai, yeah. having provided some better thing for us that they, without us, should not be made perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and then I know everything that they, they experienced, right? You know, it took faith, which it had to be increased over time. You know? Get a two up two. And that's, that's a. It's good. Um, it's a good chapter. This is a uh, Surah chapter two from the top. Yeah. My son, if thou come to serve Yahweh Shmuel Shai, yeah. Prepare thy soul for temptation. Yeah. That's it. And um, what's temptation, man? The adversities we have to experience in the faith. Yeah. So basically, he's saying not not prepare like oh yeah I'm a, you know, no he's saying get your mind right, man. You yeah. Know? And we go through these um. These different trials, man. You know, these different tests that we go through, and that's what temptation is. You look in the the likeness of temptare, handle, test, try, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, and uh, the, the the main temptation we're preparing for is that the hour of temptation, mm -hmm. the experiences that we go through and overcome is what's going to you know prepare for that time. Yeah, because they're going to be you're going to have martial law troops, you know, you're going to have concentration camps, you're going to have all manner. They're going to have race riots, people on the ward, uh, on the streets, just killing each other. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna have guys that are gonna point, pop, you know, point guns at your face, put you in a guillotine, and say that you gotta take the chip. Yeah. And the, the faith in your halbosh me that's been built up is what's gonna keep the elect from not doing that, man. Yeah, not taking yeah. the chip, you know. Definitely. This says, um, "Set thy heart aright, and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble." Yeah, I mean, basically, when you go through adversity or a certain experience, don't, don't, don't bug out. Mm -hmm. You know. He says, cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Because after all of that temptation, adversity eventually is going to work into to, to, to your favor. Yeah. We get one precept, but keep reading. Come. He says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. Yeah. Yeah. Because after the being changed to a lower state, if you're patient and you go through it, man, and you have faith, the Lord's going to put you on a higher state, man. Yeah. In the kingdom of heaven, man. Mm -hmm. It says, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, man. And in the same way that, um, you know, gold would get purified uh, with all the impurities as you put it in that furnace, it's the same way that we're getting, we're getting put into the furnace of adversity, adversity man. And we're, and we're being, we're being purified, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shedding away that old man and building up that faith, man. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Hashem Hashem, we're coming back to the Lord, yeah. seeking him 10 times more, you know. Yeah. Keep reading all you got. Uh, I'll get a quick one. This is um, Romans 8 and 24, 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love Shai, to them who are called according to his purpose. Right? For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn um, among uh, uh, brethren. But the okay, key was in verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to, to them that love the Lord. Yeah. So that means whatever you go through in this world, however bad it may be, right? All things are gonna, everything is working in our favor, right? And just because you, you, you this, this is the same chapter he's talking about the persecutions, but he's saying we know that all things it don't matter about how you know how you know how much hell you catch. The point is is that if you're the elect. Everything gonna work out for you anyway, man. Yeah, we just read it earlier about um, the Lord directs the steps. And so it's going to step. direct the steps of the elect, man. Exactly. So so don't faint when you go through a certain thing or you might go through a crazy situation. You might have a time period of things whereby you just it sounds crazy to you. Hey man, we know all things work to good. Right? Everything's gonna work in our favour. Right? You you, you, you got something? Yeah, I'm just checking in man. X What does it say? For in Great Tribulation, yeah. Twenty two. 14:22. This is Acts chapter 14, verse 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Shem And that's it. So he said, "What did it say? It said, exhorting them to continue in the faith, to build up and yeah. to continue." A part of his, you know, the apostles always talk about growth. 
you got to grow, man. A man that's only been in it two years, one year, six mm -hmm. months, five years, ten years, whatever. Yeah. This, is, this is growing towards what? Getting closer to um, building up that faith, man. And that's mm -hmm. it says in Hebrews, that's how the elders gain the good report, man. Through the different things that they're going through, the different tri trials and tribulations that build up their faith, man. Mm -hmm. You know, made them solid, man. In the Lord, man. That's it. Let's keep reading back yeah, in that. It's all right. It's all right. He's back in Sirach chapter 2, verse 6. Believe in him, and he will help thee. Uh -huh. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy, and go not aside lest he fall. Uh -huh. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your rewards shall not fail. In fact, I have been from Ephesians. I oh, know it's not there. Oh, yeah, Hebrews 11 and 6, Salakia. Let me just quickly get a preset mm -hmm. up. This is uh, Hebrews 11 and 6. Right, this is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. It says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh Shai must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, man. So the reward is what? All the things that we're going to get in the kingdom of heaven, man. When we're changed, man, mm. getting saved from our enemies, man, that's a reward in itself, man. Okay, being righteousness, man, righteous dwelling upon the earth, man, being right, man, mm. you know. When in, we're going to be in Israel's, that's why it's called the kingdom of heaven, man, the kingdom of Israel. We're going to be in our heaven, man. Right now, we're, we're basically catching hell. We're in hell, man. We're in that, that, that lowest state, man, you know. But the Lord is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna to uplift us out of that, man. But only the ones that were the elect are going to have what? Faith and seeing that, hoping for something that um, you know you can't be seen yet, man. Because these guys out here, that's one of their main scoffs. They scoff against what? Talk says in Second Peter, the third chapter, where is the promise of his coming? You know, they're scoffing at Yahweh Shai returning and delivering us, man. Mm. Okay, but the ones that believe look to, to look to the Lord, man. You know, for the salvation, man. That's right. Uh, he's back in Sirach two and. Um, Nine, ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? We were just reading that different different um, men of the Lord that went through different tribulations and, and trials, but the Lord delivered them out of it, man. And in and, and a time where the, the, the trust was, was, uh, was, was tested, was in bad experiences. Mm -hmm. Look at Job. Look at all he had to experience, you know. But does, does that mean he was wicked? You know. And that's the thing. I'm gonna say something as well. Yeah. But it was like through the spirit as well. It's like it's important to understand. Do you have to appreciate all the experiences, whether good or bad, man? You know. You you can't be in the world and just think everything gonna go go well, and then you might be going through hell, and it's it's just a time period of your hell. And you're bugging out. Man, they fuck this place, man. How oh, fuck? I don't know what's going on. Does the Lord look? No. You, can, you, 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 can't, you can't be in the world and think everything's going to go your way all the time. What well, I said in the, the fourth verse, said, whatsoever is brought upon yeah. you, take cheerfully. Whatsoever, man. You know, you just can't, you can't fucking segue through, through, through life. Thinking everything's going to be sweet. Everything's going to be blessed. You can go to every town. Everything just gonna work out. You're gonna get your dicks up everywhere. You're gonna be rich. Like, you're never gonna catch no. Come on, man. Fuck, fuck. Why are you losing your head, brother? Yeah. Experience is experience. You, you, you gotta appreciate the good. Hey, what did Job, Job say? All right? Uh, 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 um, uh, shall we, uh, we receive good from the Lord and not evil? You know? Like, you know, shit, you know, like, Job, Job, Job you know, when his, 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 his wife said, curse him, won't and die, it's like, wait, oh no, I should, are we going to be, we, shall we receive good, for good from the Lord and not evil? Mm -hmm. Like, what, you saying, because man man's catching hell, or I'm going through a, a bad experience that is, is just wicked, that the, the Lord's wicked now, because I'm going through hell, <laughs> don't make sense, bro. Yeah. So it's important to appreciate everything you go through, man. Right? And understand, look, part of this word is catching hell, man. You know, things ain't going to work, always work your way. So what? And it's going to make you harder, man. 
I'm just going to yeah. yeah. You know? It says, you want to keep reading? Yeah, this is reading. Uh, verse 10, it says, I'll read verse 10 again. Yeah. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Yeah. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Yeah. For whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Yeah. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering, yep. and very pitiful, and forgive of sins, and saveth in time of affliction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I hope. I hope. I hope is that in time of affliction, that we get saved. And t t t before we get to the time of trouble, we got to go through things to build up our faith for that time. You know? Fine. Anything to say, up? No, that's it, man. Say it, you know. man. All right, man. We're going to say all praises be. All praises. Diyahu. Ba'asham. 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 Double honors to the apostles and the great most on that message. Shalom.